Oxygen has been taken on every expedition to Everest. But before 1952, mountaineers were not convinced of its value for their purpose. This is the 1922 set. The flow rates of oxygen were too small, and an efficient method of applying it had yet to be developed. The 1953 set was based on RAF open circuit equipment. It had light alloy cylinders, an economizer, that is a spring-loaded bag emptying in inspiration, and a specially modified mask which kept respiratory pressures down to acceptable levels, even at minute volumes of 100 litres a minute. Although this set weighed the same as the early sets, it gave twice as much oxygen, a six-hour supply at four litres a minute with alternative flow rates of two to six litres. Work on the training expedition had shown that much more oxygen would be needed than had been taken before, and 190,000 litres were taken, four times as much as on any previous expedition. Some closed circuit sets were also taken for trial. Oxygen was used on the assault for climbing and sleeping all the way from 22,000 feet. Oxygen at night was vitally important. Climbers now feel that they could climb 28,000 foot peaks without extra oxygen if only they can have it for sleeping. Without oxygen for sleeping, there is little recovery from fatigue at this altitude. 